Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a quick, easy and delicious carbonara pasta. The ingredients that you're going to need for this recipe is one diced onion, four cloves of garlic, eight rashers of diced bacon, one tablespoon of parsley, one tablespoon of oregano, one teaspoon of thyme, one egg yolk, 400 mils of double cream, and 250 grams of spaghetti and one tablespoon of salted butter and half a cup of grated parmesan. We're going to start off by bringing a medium sized heavy base saucepan to a boil. As the water is about to come to a boil I'm just going to add about a tablespoon and a half of salt. Adding the salt adds flavour to the water and also increases the boiling point of the water meaning the water will have a higher temperature when you add the pasta so it will cook better. Now that the pot has come to a boil, it's time to add the spaghetti. The way to do this without breaking up the spaghetti is put it half in at a time. This will soften up this area and then you'll be able to twist and bend the rest of it in. Now that the spaghetti is in the water, we'll set a timer for eight minutes and that will be perfect al dente. Also, whilst it's cooking, every two minutes, spin the pasta around just so it doesn't stick together. In the meantime, you want to bring a large, heavy base pan to a high heat. When your pan is hot, we're going to add the one tablespoon of butter. Mix that around. Firstly, you want to add the bacon. You're going to fry the bacon off for two minutes and then add the onion and the garlic. Now that the bacon's been fried off, we're going to add the onion and the garlic. We're going to fry this off for three to four minutes. Always make sure you move your pan just so it doesn't burn in the bottom. You can either do it the way I'm doing it, by flicking it up in the back of the pan and bringing it back towards yourself, or you can use a spatula, whatever's easier for you. If it starts to stick on the bottom, just come through with a spatula and scrape that off just before it burns. At this stage, I'm now going to add my herbs. Season as you go with salt and pepper. Carbonara is usually on the peppery side. It just gives you that kick at the end on the back of your palate. Be careful with the salt as the bacon releases quite a bit of salt. At this stage, I'm going to add the cream. Now we're going to let that come to a boil and then reduce it down to a simmer to thicken up. After eight minutes, you want to take your pasta off and drain it into a large colander or strainer. Now we're going to leave the pasta until we're ready to serve. Back to the carbonara. Now that that cream is coming to a boil, we're going to let this simmer and it will reduce down and thicken up and the flavours will increase and all the flavours will combine with one another. 
always try your food just to check the seasoning level. Now we need just a touch more salt, about a pinch. At this stage we're going to add grated parmesan. Taste test again. At this stage we're going to add about 10 cracks of black pepper. You can always add more over the top when you're finishing plating up. Now that is the sauce done. We're going to turn it off so it doesn't reduce down any further. Now I'm going to add the pasta into the sauce and twirl that into the sauce, absorbing all of that flavour. Many recipes call for oil in the water when you're cooking the pasta, but this doesn't allow the sauce to stick onto the pasta. It'll just slide off and you'll end up with all of the sauce at the bottom of your bowl. Now at this stage we're going to add the egg yolk and this just thickens the sauce and gives it a nice glossy finish. Just want to stir that through. And that is it guys. Really simple and easy. Now I'm going to plate this up. If you want to make it look nice and fancy, twist the pasta together and it will form a nice ball. And that is it guys, quick, easy, simple and delicious. This recipe only takes about 15 minutes, the pasta takes about 8 minutes and then the sauce is about 12 to 13 minutes. If you enjoyed this video and learned something, please remember to like, subscribe, share and comment down below of what you think. If there's any recipes that any of you guys want to learn, just put them in the comments section below and I'll be sure to make them. Thank you for watching. Bye.